Hello and welcome to the PC Security Channel. Avast and AVG, are they still different products? Well, technically, yes, they still have different websites, different GUIs, different applications, but does that really mean anything? Ever since Avast acquired AVG, they've been constantly making changes to each of the products, which basically just reflects them merging the two of them to create a common core so they don't have to do twice the development and run two separate products rather they can just um, have the same product and just two different brand images i guess that was the whole point i have no idea why they still keep avg and avast separate because from my experience as i'm going to show you right now they are literally the same product let's start with some physical examination Let's open up the actual application folder for both Avast and AVG. And as you can see, the files are exactly the same. You can see the same folders, same stuff. Let's look at the signatures or definitions. And there you go, the same files. If we open them, you can see the same DLLs. There's really nothing different here. Almost a one is to one copy. Now if we go back into the main folder, as you can see the main application DLLs are still the same. It's only the actual products that have different icons, but I doubt if that's anything other than um, just a visual change, because as you can see the names are still the same. If we go into resources, boom, again the same stuff, anti-ransomware, anti-ransomware, it's the same file. Different file size though, maybe some technicalities there, but more or less it looks like the exact same product. Now if we open the GUI and we go into settings, you will notice that everything is same here too. So for Avast we have Cyber Capture, which is something that used to be exclusive to Avast. But now we have that in AVG as well, which I will show you in a moment if I can find the settings. Oh crap, the AVG UI, so bad. There we go, settings. And as you can see, cyber capture, we have it here too. And we have the setting to scan for PUPs, just like we do in Avast, and the update looks exactly the same. The components are exactly the same. AVG had a behavior blocker called identity protection, which Avast didn't have, but I'm pretty sure they have added that into Avast now. And as you can see, even the options are mirror images of each other, just file shield, behavior shield, mail, and web shield. Other than just few cosmetic changes, like this is called email shield, there isn't really anything to it. Now in order to confirm what I'm suggesting, I have a few files which I'll drag onto the system and we'll see if the detection is exactly the same as well. So I have some samples here which I will copy twice. And I'm just going to create another folder. We'll call one Avast. And we'll call this one AVG. And now I'm going to scan this with Avast, and I'll scan this with AVG. Oh, I can't scan using AVG <laughs> with the context menu. That's interesting. So I'll just open up the UI and do a custom scan if I can. Huh, is that a paid feature now? Come on, Avast. Don't do this to me. Okay, file and folder scan. Now I just need to find the desktop and select AVG. And there we go. So we have both these scans running, we're going to remove the threats and then we'll see what's left and come to our conclusions as to whether or not these products are identical in most if not all aspects. AVG seems to be deleting stuff by itself because the folder has a lot fewer items now and it seems to be going down rapidly. Avast on the other hand reports all the detections instead of doing anything, but I notice another problem here, it does not let me deal with all of them together, so if I want to say delete, I have to go through each of these one by one and do that, which I don't have the time to, so I'll just have to go with auto and hope that it actually removes the files rather than leaves them there or repairs them, which it could possibly do. But the interesting thing is, AVG does quarantine, so if they're same in that regard, I'm guessing that Avast will do the same. 
So it says 547 threats secured. We had 523 to start. And if we take a look at the folder, we have 19 items left. Let's see what we have on the Avast side. It says resolved issues 599. And we have 18 items left. So we do have a little bit of a difference there. They both have the seven zip files, which is interesting. So that's not the differentiator. So somehow it seems maybe they have different heuristics or something. So there's a real slight difference there, but more or less it seems they're using the same signatures. If we look at the actual detections again, um, a lot of these look like a vast detections, file rep, malware, malware gen. So for most intensive purposes, these are now the exact same products. Other than the GUI, I doubt if there's anything different. It should be the same when it comes to resource usage because they're using the same modules. And there you go. They just have different names, but they're probably the exact same thing. And you can even see that. If you look at the actual DLL file that's running, it's the same DLL. It just has different names and icons. So I have no idea why they still have um, two separate products. Oh, wait, I do. Probably to bring in more revenue because AVG is quite a popular name. But as a user, it really doesn't make any difference other than if you have visual preferences and you're just like looking at one of these logos because nostalgia or whatever. So I hope you enjoyed this really quick comparison. I just thought I'd point this out since my previous videos on this topic have been kind of leaning the side or the other because, again, the changes were happening gradually and I was making videos while they were happening. So it was a bit confusing and I apologize if it led to any confusion in that regard. But these are the facts. This is how it is now and probably how it's going to be in the future. I don't see much else to it. If anything, they might just merge the products entirely once they've taken up the traffic from AVG. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and share if you did. This is Leo from the PC Security Channel. Thank you for watching and as always, stay informed, stay secure.